The Nintendo Switch is finally here, ladies and gentlemen. I've got one in the house in this strange unboxing video. We're gonna be doing a bit of a giveaway. I've got a mega unboxing. Before I get into the giveaway details, let me just show you how much we're unboxing today. So we've got the neon Nintendo Switch. Can you guys see that? Oh, look at that, I'm so hyped. Uh, we've also got some alternate color Joy-Con controllers. I'll be talking about that in a little bit. We've got this, which is the charging station for the Joy-Cons. Uh, you do get one of these in the box, but it doesn't charge. This one actually charges. Also got a Pro Controller. These are about $80. We're gonna be seeing if they're worth that much cash in just a moment. I bought one for myself and for you guys. So one of these is up for grabs. Here's the other one. So you guys can get your hands up. I'll put it over here on this side. That's that's your prize here. Look, that's you. You get that. Then we've got an accessory case carrying case for the Nintendo Switch. I really wanted to pick one up because I don't want it to get scratched while I'm taking it and like putting it in my bag and things. Um, I also thought this was a really nice way of carrying it around. I really like it. It does also come with a protector, but I hate protectors, screen protectors. I think they're awful and I don't want to use it. So that one is going in the bin. So this is where you guys should really get excited because here we go. We've got one great Nintendo Switch. One of you can own this uh, just by following the description details. There's a link in the description. Follow that. You'll be entered in to win. I'll pick a winner at random or the software will and I'll deliver it anywhere. So there's this one. Hang on. Then we've got this one. Hang on. Then we've got this one, which is really cool. I'm really looking forward to sending <laughs> some of you guys some goodies. So today we're gonna unbox all this juicy stuff. I'm super, super hyped. So I think I'm gonna start with this. This is the case. Um, as I said before, let me just, let me just make some space. Okay, so about four hours later, we've got some space. So this is the protector here, the carrying case. Uh, I think it's a really good investment, especially when you're spending the kind of money on a console. Like having something to carry it around is like a really good idea. So we've got, ooh, so there's your screen protector. We've got some information box. There's gonna be a pile of Nintendo rubbish. And here is the carrying case. Ooh. Okay, so I thought this would be like a matte finish, but it's kind of like textured. I don't know if you guys can pick that up. It's kind of, if I do this, it's kind of textured. I kind of like that. It's kind of nice. Okay, so let's open it up. I've heard crazy things about the inside of this thing. Yeah, this is weird. Flippity flop. It's like a little tongue. Uh, what's all that about? I don't know. But yeah, this is really nice, like felt inside. Uh, we've got some cartridge spaces, which I'm not going to use because I'm going digital only. Uh, from my Nintendo Switch and actually I'm gonna be using this. This is an SD card I picked up from Amazon There's a link in the description if you want to pick up any of this stuff by the way So this is a two. Can you guys read that? 200 gigabytes worth of storage on a tiny card. I still have a memory stick that's 64 megabytes Okay, so next up we're gonna check out one of the prizes you guys will be winning. This is the Pro Controller Retails at I think $80 or they're close enough Basically, all you need to know is it's too expensive for a damn controller. Obviously, Nintendo have uh, like told us and the world where they're going to be making their money, and that is in accessories, but no surprise there. So opening up here. Ooh. Okay, whoa. All right. Let's get rid of that. Uh, so we've got a cable to charge this up and to plug it in. And here is the controller. So there's a little close up there. It's got this kind of translucent effect. Um, it feels really nice in the hand. It reminds me a lot of an Xbox 360 controller in terms of like how it feels. Uh, I really actually, to be honest with you, the thumbsticks feel fine. Shoulder buttons, there's like virtually trigger buttons, sorry, there's no travel distance. But I don't, I don't like how big these buttons are. They're, they're just, too, I think they're too big. They're just a little bit too big. I don't know, am I the only one that thinks that? But other than that, it looks beautiful. It feels fairly rugged and heavy. Um, yeah, very, very cool. Okay, next up, we're gonna open up the Joy-Con controllers. These are the alternate colors to the Nintendo Switch here. So as you can see, uh, the blue ones on this side is on that side and vice versa. So in the comment section, we're gonna open it up. We're gonna play around with the controllers a little bit. Put hashtag team red or hashtag team blue or hashtag team gray to let me know which one is your favorite for the Nintendo Switch. I think I'm gonna be hashtag team red, depending on how the color is. 
But yeah, I'll check it out. Okay, so open it up. Ooh, whoa! Okay, that is a lot more. Okay, we've got some rubbish here. That is a lot more. Um, I mean, that's not the shade I thought it would be. Man, I guess you can't print that kind of color, but that is so vibrant. I love the buttons. They're so yeah, they are the correct size for buttons. Maybe I mean I got quite I got fairly like fat fingers, but the small buttons still don't bother me. That's really nice. Have a look at the red one. Team red, team blue, team grey. Uh, I've got a little thing there, and oh, ho, ho, ho. woo! Okay, so this is the red one. It's more like neon orange to be honest. It's not really red. Man, that is so vibrant. I cannot get over how vibrant these are. Look at this. Look. I mean, you probably, I mean, you've already seen screenshots and things like that. So obviously, I mean, I've seen videos on YouTube and like press releases and things, but with the naked eye, oh my God, these are bright. And last but not least on our accessory <laughs> finanza is the charging for the Joy-Con. So I'm actually gonna try this out. This is pretty cool. So basically you get one of these in the box, but it doesn't charge. Uh, it just holds them basically, which is kind of cheeky. I don't really like that. Another charging cable there, obviously. Uh, but let's get this out. So there we go. It's kind of like translucent. Uh, it looks very, very nice. Let's try sliding these in. So the blue one. Ooh, nice click. Okay. Wow. Okay, so there we go. There's the controller, incredibly square. Man, I'm still deciding what team I'm on, and I think I might be on team red. I don't know. The blue's dark, the red's too bright, I don't know. Uh, but in terms of how this feels, um, I actually really, I didn't think I would like this at all, because of how square it is. When I looked at this, I was like, come on, that's a square controller. What are you drinking? But this actually feels kind of nice. So let's get into the real meat and bones which is the Nintendo Switch itself. I'm really, really hyped. Uh, obviously, Nintendo don't send me anything. They haven't invited me to any press conference or anything like that, weep. But, oh, I'm excited to get my hands on this. It looks cool from all the videos and stuff. So here we go. Okay, so here we go. This is your first look at the Nintendo Switch, ladies and gentlemen, or probably isn't, but there we go. So we've got, as you can see, we've got the actual switch itself and the two Joy-Cons. Oh. Okay, so let's get out the actual switch itself. Wow, that's heavy, man. Okay, let's put that to one side. Oh. Wow, wow. Okay, so basically this is actually feels fairly weighty uh, compared to like, I don't know how it compares to the Wii U, but the Wii U felt empty and just overly like too big. It felt like you could cut it down in size, but this is really, really thin and dense. I think is a good word, but oh, well, let's try the, the controllers. So we've got obviously the blue and the red. Obviously you guys need to let me know down in the comment section what side you prefer. Actually, let's put that down. Let's get these out one step at a time, Lonnie. So much rubbish, I'm so wasteful. Uh, let's get these out of here. There we go. Let's put that down. So as you can see, we've now got two blue, which is really cool. As you can see, a little close up there for you guys. Or two red. So I'm gonna try two red, because I'm pretty confident I'm going for red. Oh! Woo! That is a really nice sound. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. Man, that looks so good. <laughs> Look at that. That is so awesome. So the back, obviously, you've got all my growy fingers on it already, but you've got the Nintendo Switch logo. You've got the kickstand, which I kind of forgot about. Can I, how do you get this off? Oh, there we go. So I don't know if you can see that. It's a little bit, flimsy bit of plastic, but that's okay. But, you know, does the job. In fact, that is perfect for a desk. Because I'm, I'm sat here and I'm like, that's a good, that's a good distance away. That that would work. So that's what that is. There's also an SD card slot under there. There's the USB-C charging little slot. We've got volume and power there. And um, wow, that's really really cool. And obviously a game card slot, which is awesome. So there we go. There's the red version. Let's check out the blue version. I'm a little bit worried that after a while it might get loose and like feel flimsy, but. Right now it feels pretty good and wow, 
Okay, so that's blue. I don't know, guys. Blue's pretty good. Let's see what else is in the box while we're here. Uh, let's just make a little space. Because uh, I think we've got a dock, so we need to check that out. So there's that. Now we've got a power cable here. So, <laughs> the world's largest power socket. Obviously, I'm from England, so I've got like a three pin connector there. But USB C to charge it. Man, that's so bulky. I'm glad Nintendo haven't got a brick, but okay. Well, obviously, we'll need that, so we'll keep that out. Uh, we've got the non chargeable uh, controller here, or holder, Joy Con holder, if you like. So, the I forget which one. The one without the port is okay. So, the translucent one is the charging one. The matte finish is the just the holder, so it just holds them. That's kind of cool. We've got a HDMI cable and a dock, which I think is really basic actually. A lot of people are like, oh my god, the dock is amazing. Well, I think the dock, quite honestly, is just a basic output. Um, so as you can see, it's fairly simple. Okay, it's got some nice rubber feet on it, I like that. But all it is, is you put your switch in it, and I'll show you that in a second, and you connect up this to the telly, and you throw it in. So it's just a throughput, That's it. it's just a throughput machine. Uh, which, you know, makes it, dumbs it down a little bit, but here we go, this is the Presume. Oh, yeah, that, that that went okay. I did that backwards. That went in nicely. It looks good as well. Now I was really worried actually that the this front panel would damage the screen here. Uh, but it looks like they've basically I don't know if you'll be able to see, but basically they've indented the plastic where the bezel is. So it's not going to scratch, if it does scratch, it's not going to scratch the screen, it's going to scratch where the bezel is. So that's at least something. So that's pretty cool. So that just slides in there like that. And apparently you get it up to the television, which is awesome. So one thing I need to do before we continue and turn on the switch is try the grey controllers. So I'm going to open up one of your guys' switches and see what we got. So that's one of your guys. Again, if you missed the start of the video, click the description if you want to win this. Right, so there's a great, wow, okay. And here's the argument, on the internet, a lot of people are saying they prefer the gray ones because it's a little bit less, you know, in your face, a little less uh, leery, a little bit more subtle, if you like. So I'm gonna take these off and try these. For those of you that are team gray, I don't know how many of you that'll be, I'm gonna predict most of you are team gray, actually. I don't know. Or you can team mix, why not? Uh, so there we go, there's the grey version, which I actually, I think I might actually keep the grey. <laughs> I don't know, this is tough, but there we go guys. Right. We haven't turned it on, no, I've not even turned it on. Can someone timestamp when I actually eventually turn it on? Uh, Alright. Oh, Nintendo, that's cool! Is the volume up? I want the volume. Oh, there's a logo. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 wow, that's loud. Nice. Okay, so now we've got a language screen. Okay, I'm not going to go through this right now, but first impressions of the screen, very, very good. Uh, that's very, very cool. Okay, the last thing here I actually forgot is these little strap-on pieces, uh, which is basically, all they do is they go onto your Joy-Cons like this, uh, plus with plus, so plus, that's very helpful. There we go. Oh, nice. But yeah, that's really cool. They like, I guess what they do is they thicken out the controller a little bit. Um, they don't add anything more than that. But let's see if we can get it off here. Oh my God, that's actually, oh. Okay, that is kind of difficult. I can see where people were talking about. Uh, but that's just a throughput thing. Very, very simple. And there we go. That is the Nintendo Switch. Again, if you want to win one of these, I've got three up for grabs. Uh, be sure to check out the link in the description, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, let me know how I did on an unboxing video, I've never done one before, this is my first time, so be gentle in the comment section. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go Team Red.